fucking amazing. It's beautiful down there. Yo. Uh, so I'm right here at uh, Pisces Divers, yes? That's right. This is in Simon's Town. Uh, chilling with Mike, he's the owner. And dude, like, yo, that was probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. You always say that, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad you enjoyed it, that's cool. Yeah, that's man, cool. like, I've always wanted to scuba dive. And actually going through and doing it was so amazing. But um, yeah, it's not about me, man. It's about you. Tell us more about the business. What can people expect when they come here? Well, I mean, we we a very active training center. So we, we do a lot of teaching. Like yeah. What you've done is just a one-day discover scuba diving experience. That's not actually a qualification. It's just a, a taster, you know, oh. and hopefully people enjoy the taste. So there's more. They, they carry, yeah. yeah, you can go all the way up to instructor. Wow. So we, we do a lot of training, and it's been a busy year for training for us. I mean, it's been a tough year in a lot of ways, but uh, we've been doing a lot of dive training, which has been great. So a yeah. lot of people wanting to... To just get back to nature, do simple things, um, get into the ocean, and and so we've we've done actually really well with training. Is this a, is there an age limit in terms of like can I come through and bring my seven year old son or eight year old? Seven daughter? is 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 too young. Mm. So the the very youngest we can do anything with anyone is eight, mm. and that's just a pool experience down to a depth of two meters in the pool. So mm. just literally to try it out. Mm. And that's because the, the child's lungs haven't developed properly yet. Mm. So we, we can't take them any deeper than that. And then the youngest that they can actually do the full course is 10 years old. Mm. And even as a 10 year old, they have to be with an adult or a, um, or a dive professional until they're 15 years old. And then they kind of have the full ability to go down to 18 meters and dive with someone their own age. Yeah. Yeah. And then do you offer packages like if uh, we come in groups or stuff like that? Or We don't generally offer group rates because we mm. do very small groups. Mm. You know, we, we keep our training ratios really small, um, normally one to four. So one instructor to four students is, is the maximum ratio. And that's because the, the conditions here in Cape Town are so variable, you know. This is the Cape of Storms. Yeah. And uh, we like to keep it safe. We like to keep it easy. And so we do really small ratios and so we don't offer group discounts yeah for that reason we just we'd rather just give a great product and um, and make sure you want to carry on diving. yeah yeah uh, now what if um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical about scuba diving yeah uh, don't want to try it out I mean I've just been down there and I, I think everybody should try it out uh, what do you want to say to people out there that might be skeptical so it's totally normal to be skeptical because mm. it's so different. Mm. So the best thing to do is do exactly what you've just done. Book yourself on a one day discover scuba diving experience where you're gonna come down, you're gonna get a little bit of information about the equipment, the mm. safety, mm. Yeah. the hand signals, yeah. one or two very basic skills. I you're learned gonna, I learned this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 150. 150, yeah. So you're going to learn how to communicate just on a basic level underwater. But the main thing is just to get you into the pool and relax and breathing underwater and relaxing. And then depending on how that goes, we take you to the sea afterwards yeah. and show you some marine life and get you in the salty stuff. So you mentioned uh, the one day uh, training. Are there any other trainings that you uh, offer? Yeah, so after the one day Discover Scuba Diving experience, you yeah. can then sign up for the full course, which mm. is a four day course. Okay. And at the end of that, you actually a qualified diver. You're wow. able to go and rent equipment from someone like us yeah. and go diving with your buddies. And that's oh. what it's all about, really yeah. having the freedom to, to go diving when you want to, or with a boat, or with a group, or whatever. Awesome. So, yeah, that is the four day program. And you get a card which is which is recognized internationally. So Seriously? anywhere on, on, on the planet that yeah. you go um, and you show your paddy dive card, yeah. um, you are will be recognized and welcomed as a diver. All right, awesome. Yeah. Uh, just in closing, let's talk money. Uh, yeah. How much are we talking about? What what are the going rates? Okay, so for what you did today, it's mm. one five. Mm -hmm. Okay, the intro um, or the discover scuba diving. The full course is 6.8, mm -hmm. and that includes all your paddy training materials, your registration fees, it includes all your pool sessions, your classroom sessions, the use of the equipment throughout, and then uh, four sea dives, of which the last two will be off the boat as yeah. well, so you get to experience boat diving as well. Wow. 
and that and that course is six eight. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, how can people get in touch with you guys? Well, just online um, through our socials, Pisces Divers Cape Town or um, PiscesDivers.co.za. And uh, yeah, all, all the course info is there. And uh, we're very responsive to emails. So yeah, just pop us a line and we'll get you in the order as soon as possible. Awesome. Mike, thank you so much, man. You're welcome. I think um, you're going to get tired of me because I'll be definitely doing this a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Every time I'm in Cape Town, I'm coming here. Man. Oh, really? It was really, really amazing. I'm not just saying that because the camera's on, but I really enjoyed it. Cool. Thank That's you so much. Man. Well. Yeah. No, we're out here in Cape Town, uh, Maker's Landing, ne? Makers Lending, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hanging out with Led2. Cumber Beer Works, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Tell me more yeah. about this place, man. What's happening here? So, Cumber Beer Works is a, a microbrewery. We've been operating for like five years, but we moved into Makers Lending uh, two, three months ago. Mm. So, the place has been officially open for three days. Just be glad um, so people can hear you. Yeah, the concept behind uh, Makers Lending basically is to have uh, makers, food makers in one in one roof, basically from a brewery, distillery, bakeries, uh, butchery, coffee roastery, and everything. So it's all under one roof at the waterfront. Close, close them now. Yeah. So obviously, as we come up beer works, we, we offer the beer. Yeah. You know, that's our, that's our, that's what we do. So, and ourselves as we come up beer works, we like to, we more like um we see ourselves as storytellers. We, Tell stories through through beer, basically. Yeah. Uh, so this is your beer, this one that I'm having here. Yes, and this one as well. Which one is this one? This one is called that one is called Uchwala. Uchwala. Uchwala, so can say so. Yeah. So it's got mm. it's got the easiest name. Mm. Uchwala. You know. And you made it. Yeah. This is dope. Yeah. So the idea this behind is clean, this eh? one was to, um, I think some years back, my girlfriend made Umkombot. Yeah, and uh, I uh, I shared that with uh, an, an Australian guy who was touring South Africa, and yeah. he owns a brewery there. And he had him come, but he was like, it was kind of the first time that he had African beer. Mm. And then when he left, he asked me, has anyone ever tried to modernize this beer? Wow, Mkomboti. Yeah, Mkomboti. So yeah. Um, at first I thought it was a ridiculous idea because that's like our pride and joy and thing. But afterwards I was like, maybe he's got a point. Maybe someone should try. Yeah. So I started trying around uh, using the same ingredients to make beers and I made different beers until I, I got to this one and it's like a, it basically became the one and people love it. This is great, man. So how many yeah. beers you got here now? We've got... Three of our main beers, we've got Uchwala, which is the Sokam Saison. We've got Ibiya, which is a lager. Mm. And then we've got this one, an IPA. It's called the State Capture. <laughs> I like that. And then you can yeah. only get these beers here? No, we do distribute uh, almost nationally. We have some outlets, I think around 30 outlets in Johannesburg and quite a few in Cape Town. And we're starting to go into Devon now. Then we have an online shop, www.ukamba.africa. Yeah. So anyone can get the beer anywhere in the, in the country, basically, uh, through that, yeah. And um, yeah, that's... The rest is history. The rest is history. That's <laughs> crazy, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we're here in Cape Town. Thank you so much, man, for hosting us. Cool, man. Uh, yeah. For our very first ever Chillers. Uh, hopefully it's the first of many. Um, mm. And uh, what can people expect when they come here? You know, whoever's watching this. So... It's, it's, it's an amazing spot because we 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 uh, we're part of obviously the makers lending, and it's uh, uh, an initiative by the uh, the waterfront, the VNA waterfront, where they bring bring in one building, a lot of entrepreneurs in the food space. So everyone is doing something to find this. It's a place full of stories, mm. you know, like uh, a lot of stories. We even have a a, a food exhibition uh, thing. Uh, story right in front of our brewery and then we have our our beers that we make from our Kamba beer works and we're still setting up our brewery so which is something in a month or or in a few weeks you'll be coming here you'll be finding us brewing there is also a distillery downstairs you know where they make gin they make brandy they make whiskey 
all these things. So it's a, it's a very rich uh, uh, tourism place, you know, like uh, you experience a lot of things, not just us. Yeah. You know, we we part of something bigger than just us. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's quite exciting. Yeah. yeah. Leti, thank you so much for joining me, man. Thank cool, you man. for hosting us. Cheers, I'm man. glad. You know, it's always nice when you see a black brother doing well, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, we have to. We yeah. have to. We have to push each other. We have to. We have to build a black economy. Yeah, 100%. Somewhere, somehow. We have yeah. to. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Podcast and chill. Boom. Gentlemen, uh, let me introduce you to Anthea from, um, well, what's the company again? Captain Jacks. Captain Jacks, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Where exactly are we right now? We're in Half Bay Harbor. Yeah. Um, we have been based there for the last um, three to four years. We are lucky to have the only whale and dolphin watching license in the area. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. So, so we do sea life adventures and ocean adventures. And as you experienced today, we take people on amazing trips yeah. um, around Hout Bay. So you see all our beautiful scenery and you also get to enjoy the sea life. You know, every experience I've done since I've been in Cape Town has just been amazing. And this one was one of them like, wow. Fantastic. That was like, I know I keep saying like, because <laughs> I, I started with scuba diving, which mm -hmm. is dope. And then we did the, what else did we do, go sleep? The bikes, ne? Yeah, we did the bike cycling thing. Yeah. Got to see Cape Town, that was dope. This was right up there, I mean, it was amazing. We got to see a whale. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the, the type of whale that you saw was a humpback whale. And what we have between November and all the way to June is we have a, Superpods, they call them, 
of humpback whales that travel down to feed. Wow. Um, some of them go to Antarctica, some of them go back up to Gabon. Jeez. So we are lucky to be in what we call the humpback highway mm. of Cape Town, yeah. where we're seeing kind of all year round this movement south and north of humpback whales. So we want to share that mm. with the rest of the world and say, Please know that when you come to Hart Bay, you can see whales. Wow. You don't always have to go to our eastern um, mm. coastline. Mm. We've got plenty of whales here for you. So we were very lucky that we saw the whales. You were incredibly lucky. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So if I'm in Cape Town or I'm watching from anywhere in the world, when I come through and do this, how can I go about doing that? So you can go to our website. You go info. Uh, sorry, it's www.captainjacks.co.za. Yeah. Over there, you'll get links to our email, our booking system. It's all online. Um, and you can inquire with us at info at captainjacks.co.za. And uh, price-wise, is it...? Price-wise, it's 880 rand per person for an adult and yeah. 560 rand per child. That is a special that we're running because we know we're in corona mm, times mm. and we don't necessarily have all the nice foreign currency spend of yeah. our friends from overseas. Um, usually our price is 1,250 rand per person, yeah. but we are running a fantastic special yeah. um, at the moment. So we can get as many people as possible to see those whales. Yeah, and what I liked about this experience is that if you do it as a group, it's more... Um, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. So because we, we, we can take up to 10 people maximum um, in terms of passengers on our boat, um, it's lovely to book groups that know each other. Yeah, 100%. And everyone yeah. just has an absolutely fabulous time. Yeah. Anthias, thank you so much, man. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's great to meet you guys. Yeah. And I hope to see you back soon in yeah. Hart Bay. <laughs> and thanks for the muffins and the Only a coffee. pleasure. Only a pleasure. So you said it's captainsjack.co.za. Captainjacks.co.za. Fantastic. Mixologist at the Radisson Blue Hotel in Waterfront. Um, let's start with how long have you been here for? Um, I've been at the Radisson for two years now. Next oh, yeah. year will be my third year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and what is it that you do here? Uh, I manage the bar, amongst oh, nice. other things. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the cocktail menus, we change that seasonally. Mm. Um, the training of the staff and, and you know, just, just up, generally uplifting the beverage program. Yeah. yeah. And tell me about you know, the process behind. Um, the, 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 the title that you do, like the cocktails, how do you come up with them? What inspires you? Um, well, basically, I've always wanted to be a chef. Um, and I just like the, the way everything flows and, you know, changes and, and comes together from a culinary point of view, you know, especially with, with drinks making. There's so much that you can do. It's so versatile. Um, it's, it's, it's just amazing. Um, pulling a lot of inspiration from chefs and from cooking processes and that sort of thing. Uh, that's that's really where the process starts for me, um, and then drawing inspiration from the beautiful venue that we have. I mean, we're, we're a seaside location. Um, we're we're made for the kind of tropical style cocktails that we do, um, but we also look after our classic cocktails and stuff like that. You know, um, you have to you have to be able to build it from the bottom up, um, and understanding how a good classic cocktail works is is the key to building on something that's original and completely different. Yeah.
chilling with uh, Nicole, who's the guest relations manager at Resting Blue Hotel. Um, I gotta say, man, I've stayed at a lot of hotels, but this has to be by far the best hotel I've stayed at. You're just saying that. <laughs> no, 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 I could you not, man. The view's amazing. Like, oh, it's so amazing. It's funny because uh, when I posted on my social media, everybody's asking me like, dude, where are you? <laughs> You know, what the best location place? in Cape Town. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Nicole? I'm great, thank you. I'm yeah. fantastic, thank you, Magaiva. How long have you been here for? This is year number four. Yeah. Uh, but it's been four awesome years. Yeah. It's a truly beautiful hotel. And uh, can you tell me more about the history of hotels? You know, we come here, we sleep, and then we leave. We forget that, you know, there's a history. There is plenty of history. So this hotel has been open since 1998. We didn't start off as a Radisson. We started off as a Villa Via. And then Radisson SAS, or Radisson SAS, took over. And then we converted into a Radisson Blue not long after. Mm. If you've walked around the hotel, I'm sure you've noticed something looks just a little bit familiar of a cruise ship. Mm. And that's where our architecture comes from. So mm. it's supposed to remind you that you're on a cruise ship. So you've got the portals, you've got the light, airy places, you've got the sails that's up on the ceiling. And then, of course, you've got this magnificent view. Yeah, the view's amazing. Jeez. And we are the only hotel in Cape Town that's right on the Atlantic. Is it? Yes. Oh, wow. That's why we say that we're the best location in Cape Town. Uh, apart from the Atlantic and the location, um, what sets you guys apart from all the other hotels in, in Cape Town? I'm not going to lie to you. You know, it's definitely our staff. Mm. <laughs> so as Radisson, we have a yes, I can attitude. Yes, yes, so yes. So when it comes to guest requests, when it comes to making your stay extra special, when it comes to making moments memorable, everything is just yes, I can. Yeah. And if I can't, I'll find a way. Yeah. Definitely. That's true because Tabang lost his card last night. I and know. Uh, the, they managed to help us like you know, seamlessly. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> you know what? Our team here, they're fantastic. Yeah. You know, everybody's got a story and everybody's got the biggest heart. Mm. So it doesn't feel like you're at work. It feels like you're with your family. Yeah. So, yeah, our so, staff definitely sets us apart. So if I'm watching this and, uh, you know, I'm undecided about what hotel to stay in in Cape Town, uh, what um, experience, what hospitality can I receive when I get you? I'd like to say that when you get here, we make you feel like you're at home. Mm. Yeah, there's no airs and graces. There's no pretenses. We are who we are and we're friendly. We're happy to welcome our guests. We are fantastically located in the sense that we've got the Greenpoint Urban Park close by. We've got the stadiums if you're coming for a concert when concerts are allowed again. Mm. We've got the promenade just here. So going for a run, going out and about in the city. It's all just here. But even if you just stay at the hotel the entire day, mm. you feel like you're in a resort. Yeah. You feel like you're somewhere on the Mediterranean, <laughs> not yeah. somewhere in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. And today's our last day. Uh, we're planning on chilling by the pool. Awesome. Uh, we might go to, oh, we're going to go to the spa, huh? Yeah, we might go to the spa. What, what else do you have um, at, the, at the hotel? So we've got, we've got the spa, as you've mentioned, the Amani Spa, which is absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Uh, in the spa, we've got saunas. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, nice. And we've got a fantastic indoor swimming pool. The spa is like an adult zone, so you can just go and relax. You don't have to worry about anybody bothering you. Then in the property as well, we've got a fantastic concierge that can tell you about things to do. We've got bicycle hire. So if you just want to take a bicycle and go up and down the promenade. We've also got a waterfront shuttle that leaves every hour on the hour, and that's a complimentary service. Which is fantastic because if you want to go to the waterfront and have a drink, we'll pick you up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who needs an Uber? Yeah, you don't have to worry about driving anywhere. Yeah. We've also got a beach shuttle at the moment that takes you to Clifton Forth and to Camps Bay. Is it? Yeah. Can you take that one today? Yes. Oh, nice. It goes every two hours. You can go have every a good time hours. on the beach. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then we'll pick you up and bring you back to the hotel. And we wanted to go to the beach today, so oh, we definitely there we go. Do Sorted. And awesome. if you don't want to uh, hang out at the beach, you can just chill out here at the pool and watch the ocean. I mean, yeah. you saw the dolphins earlier. There's nothing better than that. Jeez, this is amazing. Uh, let's talk about money. Money? Yes. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> uh, what prices are we looking at? What, what, do you, what packages do you have? Is it just the premium rooms or? So it all depends on who you book through and when you're staying. So our prices fluctuate 
depending on the time of the year. I always recommend going onto our website and, and booking because you'll get mostly the best rates. Also, we have a membership called uh, Radisson Rewards. So you can book on our website, or bigger pardon, you can join Radisson Rewards on our website, and then you get discounts for your stay. Oh, nice. And then every time you stay, you get points. Yeah. And those points convert into um, either you can use it towards your breakfast, or you can use it towards your laundry, which is quite cool, or you can use it towards your next stay. Yeah. And the more you stay, the better your benefits. Fantastic. Nicole, Thank you so much for having us. It's only been a pleasure. Thank you for staying with us. Yeah, the hospitality was amazing. Uh, just in closing, uh, details, with, what's the website? Where can people get a hold of you guys? You can get hold of us on www.radisonblue.com. You'll be able to find us also on Instagram at Radisson Blue Hotel Waterfront. That's us. We're the best location in Cape Town. Fantastic. Podcast and chill.